Welcome back to our channel everyone, again with you Omar from Brasburg More Sports. Today we have a 2020 GMC Terrain and we're going to be showing you the step by step on how to remove and replace the seat belts on the front. So a passenger or a driver, both, uh, uh, both procedures will be the same. And in this scenario we're going to be showing you the driver. But if you have to remove the passenger side, it will be the exact same thing. So stay tuned and let's jump straight to it. All right, so before touching anything with the airbag module or the airbag system, like I always say, the first thing you have to do is disconnect the battery. So I have my 10 millimeter here. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the uh, uh, ground cable. All right, I'm gonna grab a towel and wrap it around the uh, terminal so that way it doesn't touch the body and cause a, close the circuit, basically, and cause a short circuit or anything like that or cause an airbag to deploy, just in case, because I've seen it happen before. Anyway, let's move on. All right, so the first thing we're gonna start with, with is the uh, uh, pre-tensioner uh, right there. That's where it's located. Uh, as you see, there's this plastic cover here. If you look over there, there is a circle tab. And I'm gonna use my pick. Oops. Come on. Okay, here's my pick and try to pull it. You can try and use a flathead as well if you don't have a pick. Because there is a screw hidden behind it. And just like that. It's a T30 screw hidden right behind there, which holds this uh, uh, entire uh, plastic cover. So let me grab the T30 right there. That's what the uh, uh, T30 screw looks like, and that's where it was, right there. Okay, now we can just pull on this and kind of push this back. You know, it's gonna be a little bit of pain because we have the harness attached with the clip to this cover. But right now what I wanna do is, I just wanna remove this. Mm -hmm. I know it doesn't have any more screws. It's basically just gets pushed on there. I might have to remove this, uh, there we go. And just like that. So from the back, uh, it attaches like there is a there is a tab on the back of the pretensioner. It attaches right there, and then this goes into the slide. And then from the front, you have the screw that I just removed, and then the, the tab uh, for it. This here, the harness for the pretensioner, was attached uh, to this one right here. It was attached to one of these tabs, basically. <laughs> but anyway, I went ahead and removed that as well. This is what the tab looks like. That was covering the screw. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the side. We gotta make sure we save all our screws. Now we have a connector here, and it's a slide connector. So basically it has like that orange tab right there. Let me see if I can give you guys a closer look on it. All right, so you guys see this orange tab right here? The one I'm pulling back. There's two on each, there is one on each side. And basically you just, all you gotta do is push them both at the same time, push them back both at the same time in order for you to release it from the uh, uh, pretensioner. The pretensioner is held on with a, I wanna say a T50, uh, but I'm gonna grab the tool and I'll show you what we're gonna do next for, to remove the pretensioner. All right, so it is a T50. Uh, now before you do this, you have to make sure the seat is all the way in the forward position and up, so that way you can access that bolt. If the seat was pushed backward uh, or reclined backward, this bolt would be right here and you will not be able to access it. Now, uh, some of you might know, if the seat belt is locked up, like in our scenario on the passenger side, how are you gonna do that? The best way to do that is to disconnect the seat. By that, I mean like unbolt the seats from the car and then you'll be able to access uh, uh, that uh, bolt right there. Give myself a little bit more torque. One good way of knowing these pretensioners are uh, deployed is the accordion or the sleeve around it from here. You see how it's pushed back? It's supposed to be like, it's, should, it's supposed to extend. Just this, this part is supposed to be extending like to somewhere around here.
All right, nice. With that, our uh, tensioner bolt is out. Let's see if we can remove it completely before we send it for repair. completely out that's our tensioner I'm gonna put the bolt that's what the bolt looks like by the way like I said it's a t50 torque 50 uh, bolt that's what it looks like socket all right moving on all right here we are in the rear driver uh, uh, seat we're gonna go ahead and continue removing our seat belt uh, we already got the tensioner now you can open this and get the tensioner away from the seat belt you know uh, make your life uh, easier if you want to, but I'm, I'm just gonna leave it like that. So the first thing is uh, we have to remove the uh, seat belt from the top here, and uh, to do that we have this uh, plastic cover. It's only held on with clips and tabs all around it. So you might want to push the uh, weather strip a little bit all around the front and the back, and we might have to remove those steps over there, the steps on the bottom, on the front and the back as well. So let me go ahead and start with the weather strip and then it's on the other side. I'm going to do it on this side. There's a little bit of a pain, but it has to be removed so you can actually access everything and see where the bolts are located. And now it is the, not the bolts, but the clips. It does have a metal clip on the back. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to go ahead and try to use my uh, clip remover for that and see if we can remove it. All right. Let me see, I, I think this is the best I can zoom out for you guys, but the tab is located right here, right behind this cover here. So I'm going to stick my uh, clip remover and I'm going to push on it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, from the top, looks like we have an airbag uh, cover right here. Let me see if I can show you guys. Let's start with the upper portion. Uh, looks like we have a cover over here. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my uh, clip remover as well, but this time it's gonna be plastic clip remover. I'm gonna see if I can remove it with the plastic one first. If we could, that would be epic. Uh, here we go. Seven millimeter right there. Sorry if my head was in the way. All right, perfect. That's what the uh, uh, bolt looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna put, some, put this on the side. Now we can remove this. And I mean, like, remove the piece completely. We just have to slide our uh, seat belt through the uh, cover. And now it's unfortunately the only way you could do this. Just be careful, try not to damage it. Uh, now, as you can see, it wasn't damaged or anything. It still looks in good shape. So I'm gonna, gonna put this on the side. Now we can remove this cover here. And this cover is also attached with the same kind of tabs, which let me show you first what the tabs in the back would look like. That's what the tabs looks like. It's this one, it's that one, that one. And then we had another tab, which goes right there. But that one stays on the, uh, stayed on the frame. All right, now back to the bottom of the, over here. We're gonna try, start by uh, removing or at least lifting up the, the doorstep. It is gonna be a little bit of a pain. Try my plastic clip remover. Let's see if we can get it. At least from this side. Oh, here we go. There we go. Just a little bit, just so we can actually, like, you know, get this one out. Now, since I'm still on this side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peek around the back, see if there's any, uh, see where the clips are at, and uh, start, uh, like, popping them one at a time. So that's one I just removed and then we have we should have another one or two on the bottom yep we have one right here that's the second one and we should have last one oops last one is gonna be right here there we go this is on this side let me go on to the other side 
we're gonna have to do the same thing. Uh, we're gonna uh, try and pull up the step a little bit, just like we just did on the other side. And I'm gonna take a look on this side, see where the clips are located. They should be adjacent, so. What you guys hearing are the metal clips. So do not worry about that noise. I'm pushing them one at a time with a clip remover. Most companies now use plastic clip remover. I honestly have no idea what GM decided. It would be a good idea to put a metal clips. Oh, I mean, most companies use uh, plastic clips, not plastic clip removers. I don't know why GM decided it was a good idea to use a metal one probably to secure it but even the plastic ones like most other companies they use plastic and uh, haven't seen any issues with that but anyway with that our panel b pillar is removed let me see if this will show you guys uh every, where the clips are located you have one there one there one there one there one in the bottom here one in the bottom right there and uh the other one is on the side over here Okay, and that's the guide just to kind of make sure it's setting properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the side. Now, what we should have left are two bolts, a clip and the connector for the seat belt, which is right there. I'm gonna start with the, uh, let's start with the uh, bolts uh, from the bottom and then we'll go from there. It's gonna be the same size. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a T50 as well, or 50, which is this here. Let me bring the camera down further so you guys could see much better i wish i had more room in the car to show you guys a better angle but this is the best i could do honestly hmm. i think it's better if i hold it with one hand and do it faster with the other and then we do have a 10 millimeter on top, which I'll show you exactly where that is in just a second. All right, now I got that like 80% out. Now we have that 10 millimeter over there. So let me grab my uh, 10 millimeter for that. millimeter is out now back to the bolt on the bottom these bolts can be a pain There we go. All right. Now we have the connector on the side here, which is the reason why I removed it. Now, just like we did the pretensioner, this one also have two orange tabs. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit and show you. Also has two orange tabs right there. I'm just gonna stick this over here. Okay, for now. Let me grab my picks. I'm gonna use a two pick. If you have a two uh, 90 degree angle, that's perfect. If you don't, you don't, that's okay. You can still try to get one side with your hand and the other side with the pick and just push up and just like that our connector is uh, out now the seat belt is complete our retractor is completely disconnected from the bottom we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the uh, uh, bolt on the top so let me bring the camera up that's the last bolt right there and we do have a clip we do have a clip right here by the way so let me go ahead and do that i'm just gonna use my clip remover uh, it's right it's right behind the it's right behind the seat seat belts right there that's a clip i'm gonna use my clip remover and i'm just gonna oh, come on i thought i had it there we go just pop it up pop it up pop it out and lift it up and the clip is out i'm gonna put this to the side here now, like I said, the last one we have is the one up top right there. So let me go ahead and uh, there we go. Oh, 
it's almost out. And with this, our seat belt is out. This is our entire seat belt, retractor and everything. Let me zoom out a little bit so you guys could see. This is our entire seat belt, uh, retractor and everything, as you guys see here. Now, if you're gonna uh, replace this, you could. If you're gonna send this to a facility that repairs them, you also could. Uh, it all depends, honestly, on uh, how much you guys wanna spend. But regardless, uh, the seat belt, the tensioner, both of them were deployed, so we have to we have to replace them. Uh, on uh, American cars, you don't have to remove the SRS module, otherwise known as the airbag module, because those are considered self-healing. So once you replace the deployed airbags or, de or the deployed components, like the seat belt, pretensioner, roof airbag, as you see over here, then the uh, SRS module will do a self-check, make sure everything is good. Once everything is good, the airbag light will be gone off the dash. Uh, other than that, if you guys have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comment section below. And like always, make sure you like and follow for more.